So, um, I appear to have just managed to completely trash the house um, <laughs> since I last saw you. So, I have very nearly finished the pattern, I just need to finish the front skirt. And the realisation of how big the skirt is um, has occurred to me. I'm glad I'm only doing a half circle skirt. Because if it was a full circle skirt, then it wouldn't be happening. Um, I reckon I need about four metres of fabric because the bodice takes up hardly anything. And um, the it's all in the skirt, basically. I can basically slot the bodice around the little gaps in the skirt. Um, so I think... I am definitely going to have to buy more fabric. I've just ordered some samples for me and um, Janine's dress um, from Minerva Crafts. Now, I'm looking at um, crepes and peach skins for my dress, um, and I'm probably gonna use a peach skin for the lining of Janine's dress, simply because I am a bit worried about satin fabrics. I don't really like buying satin fabrics. Um, online even if I'm doing samples just because I find that sometimes they can just be like really shiny and they can come up a bit tacky almost um, so I thought it's a bit safer bet going with a crepe or a peach skin because it has a slight matter finish and I feel like it gives the dress a bit more of a luxurious um, look on a the same budget really and so that's um, my plan I've ordered um, a couple of different like price points um, for the for the dresses, uh, so I've got like some really cheap ones in there as well as some slight. Oh, they're not expensive by any means um, because I don't really want to spend over a hundred pounds on a dress that I'm going to wear um, to this masquerade ball and then probably only crack it out if I get invited to another ball. So, as you can imagine, I don't want to spend loads on it. However, I did want to find a fabric that was as close to this colour as possible just because it goes so well with my hair. And I have found um, a crepe that is very, very similar to this colour or it looks it online. And I've also found one that's turquoise. Now, by the time um, I go to the ball, um, I'm actually going to have this reshaved and the blue will come off. But I thought it'd be really nice to have a blue dress that kind of is the same colour of my undercut. Although I, the undercut won't be there, I know that the colour combo of my pink hair and the blue will go. So I'm torn between a pink and a blue at the moment. But I'm happy that I found one that I think is close to this colour. Um, yeah, so lining we're going to go with um, probably a crepe just because it's easier to work with. And I don't actually, I realise at this point, I don't actually know how to insert an invisible zip um on a lining on a skirt so i'm gonna have to learn uh, how to do that and um, do a practice run is my plan for that um the realization of what i've taken on is is starting to hit me as i'm working out my dress is relatively simple um and really so is janine's the fitting on the bodice is going to be way easier than mine because it's going to be a stretch bodice with a uh, lace over it I will insert pictures like when I do the final reveal of this I will also show you Janine's that I've made I'm just not going to document the whole process of that one because um, I need her to be here and, and it's, just, it's just too much so I'm just going to do mine for the video um, yeah but the realisation of the task is, is hitting me and, and my lack of experience is also starting to show through here uh, but I, I'm confident, I'm quietly confident I'm going to just finish off the little adjustments on the dress downstairs, on the pattern downstairs because I'm having to do it on the table because the skirt pattern's so big. Then I'm going to pull out one of these bed sheets and I am going to do a full twelve, a full practice run of it. I'm going to use, um, oh, I don't know if you can see but I have some grey bias binding up here. I'm going to use that to finish the edges. Um, I haven't worked out yet how I'm going to hem the skirt if I'm going to, depending on the fabric, depending how well the fabric works, I might buy, buy a bind, like finish the edge, or I might overlock it and turn it up and hem it once, which isn't the like nicest um, of finishes. It's not the prettiest way to do it um, from the inside, from the guts 
point but I am thinking I'm trying to think about a time and uh, be making it wearable because um, I worry that if I do bias binding on it it might put too much weight on it but then again the weight might work really nicely because I want the dress to kind of be slightly not too long for me but drag a little bit hopefully it won't rain but you know what I mean just drag a bit on the floor and means I don't have to worry about buying new shoes I can just wear shoes I've already got so that's my plan I'm um, so for hemming it and the edges I will buy a spine depending on the fabric uh, that I picked depends on whether I will overlock the edges or French seam them I would much prefer to overlock them or zigzag finish them um, I'm quite happy to zigzag finish um, edges and in fact with crepes I usually end up doing that anyway so uh, I would much prefer to do that than um, overlock or French seam because I worry that it'll show through I'm kind of spitballing as I talk to you guys so this is a little rambly bit here yeah so next time I see you I will um, have a hopefully a complete twirl and I'm thinking the amount of footage that I've got here I may end the video here and then next week you will see the kind of first fitted complete on me um, dress so I'm hoping that you found this video um, interesting watching me go through the process of uh, designing and drafting and twirling a ball gown from old bed sheets. I have actually really enjoyed filming this. Um, I say that like I'm surprised. Um, it's just kind of helped me clear my head as I go along. I'm not going to enjoy editing this probably because I feel like it's very bitty, uh, but we'll see. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I will see you guys next week when I have the first twirl done. This video won't be going up though until the whole dress has been made and the ball has happened. So um, I will... I feel I'm very confused about the time of, of all of this. 